Hello and welcome to Midnight Readings. So, today we shall be reading Twilight Sparkle Goes to Bed. Hope you all enjoy. Bed. The thought hung in Twilight's head, refusing to rid itself to make room for more important matters, such as her recent study on the ceremonial rituals of griffins during the month of August. No, this time the thought of her bed beckoned her, enticed her with the warm comfort of a soft mattress and sheets wrapping round her like a cocoon. Tonight was special. Tonight, Twilight wouldn't just be sleeping in her usual bed sheets and feather plop pillow. No, tonight she would be welcomed to the warmth and comfort of freshly dry cleaned bed linen. The smell and sensation of freshness would entice her to a sleep of wonderful and unimaginable comfort. Twilight tried to ignore the incessant beckoning the bed's thought brought forth. It sang to her like a siren's call. It wanted her. Its only desire was to embrace her. It sat there upon the pedestal on the second floor and waited, watching her movement with the pleading puppy dog eyes. There is only one solution to this problem, and that was to go there. Twilight stood up and stretched her legs, looking over her cluttered desk. This evening's study session had been a particularly intense, and it showed. Books lay strewn across the immediate area, accompanied by various scrolls and scraps of paper. She sighed deeply. With Spike out of time for the next few days, it was up to her to make sure the library stayed clean and organised. Bed will need to wait until she had finished cleaning. With each book she placed in the shelf and each scroll she righted, she knew that her inherent desire to return to those lustrous sheets was one step closer. The thought of slumbering in that entomb of comfort pleased her, chilled her with the most satisfying of ways. She could feel the promised warmth creeping over her as the entire essence of her being turned towards her final goal. She smiled at the accomplishment of cleaning her work desk. Now she could claim her prize. Each step towards the godly gift was an ascension onto no other. Only the stairs remained to be conquered, and she would. One step. Two. Three. Four. Five. She hadn't taken the trash out. Twilight sighed deeply. A feeling of emptiness growing inside of her as her prize slipped out of her grasp. She trotted downstairs and into the kitchen, tying up the plastic garbage bag with force. It groaned in protest as the knot tightened to its extremity. Twilight frowned at the garbage, levitating in front of her as she wandered to the front door. Alyssa would need to be taught to this bag, for it was so rude as it had not taken itself out and ultimately inconvenienced her. She set it down next to the mailbox with a scowl. That'll show it. She closed the door behind her, sighing in relief. Now there was nothing standing in between her and her bed. That wonderful warmth positively glowed atop the stairs. The mutual desire between pony and bed filled the air, each silently calling for each other. She smiled happily as she began to trek towards the stairs again. This time there was no stopping her. There was nothing left to do, nothing that could be completed in the more. She hadn't fed Owlicious. Twilight cursed under her breath. It was a terrible thing for her to forget to feed a pet, yet she argued to herself that having a bird that was so silent during the day, it was easy to forget their very existence. That was until he was needed. She shook her head wandering back to the kitchen. She could feel her eyes drooping as her desire for sleep went further denied. She opened the pantry looking for the unopened box of Flim and Flam's oil pellets that Spike had brought before leaving for whatever business he had been assigned to. Where was it? She could swear the darned pantry's inventory changed every time she opened the door. The oil pellets weren't in the usual place. It was supposed to be on the second shelf next to the salt, not near the pepper. The pepper was supposed to be on the third shelf, so they couldn't be mixed up. On the other side of the pellets was supposed to be her favourite cereal, Celestio's. Instead, there was a mandarin-flavoured jam. Twilight groiled under her breath. 
as she began systematically rearranging the pantry in the hopes that she would find what she was looking for so she could ultimately dive under the covers of her, of her freshly cleaned sheets. A familiar hoot sounded behind her and she whirled round quickly to see her oil standing on the bench, beside the box of oil pellets. Twilight gave the oil a deadpan glare as she hurriedly pulled the bowl from the windowsill with her magic, filling it to the brim with the food before forcibly placing it back in its original position, taking care to note to place exactly where she found it right to the centimetre. She ignored the bird's gracious hoot as she swiftly moved from the kitchen, banking around the corner and stopping in the middle of the, her living room, looking around anxiously for anything else that may have been forgotten. There was no time or desire to remember something halfway towards her glowing prize of commodity beauty. Teeth. She was lucky she had taken the time to remember, otherwise the mental task would have been naught. But another obstacle to overcome and an irrelevant, nu an ir irrelevant nuisance. Briskly finishing the task, she smiled widely. Now she was ready to claim her prize. She'd been waiting for so long. It had been too long, too far away, and now it was within her grasp. She would claim it without any distractions. One step. Two. Three. Four. Five. She was almost there. Her mind happily whirled that she had not forgotten anything further. Ten. She was halfway there. There it was. She could see the wooden framing that held her goal, the ultimate desire. Nothing could stop her now. Nineteen. Twenty. There it sat, shining brightly in a heavenly glow as a chorus of angels sang sweetly to her, beckoning for her to finally claim the prize that she had earned her accolade of perfection. Her grin widened to a blissful smile as she slowly pulled open the sheet, lay down and snuggled into her bed, sighing wistfully as the scent of freshly cleaned linen filled her nose, adding a wonderful sense of euphoria to the feeling of an irreplaceable, indescribable comfort which she knew would only come again once they had washed once more. She closed her eyes, a low moan emitting from her lips as pure bliss washed over every fibre of her body. She snuggled into the blankets, pulling them closer, wrapping herself thoroughly in the intricate warmth they had promised for so long. It was just as she had envisioned. No, it was better. The utter desire that she had held for so long made it even more warm, comforting and accomplishing to have finally claimed her prize. She stopped, her eyes shooting open. I have to pee. <laughs> oh, I love this one. This is funny when I first read it. Oh, the joys of snuggling down in the warmth. I always find that winter anyway. Snuggling under the covers and then never wanting to leave. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next week. Stay brony!